You don't need an extensive spirit collection to make amazing drinks. I'm Brian Johnson, and in this episode of Better Cocktails at Home, we're going to be making Magnetic North. Now, this is an original cocktail that I created, um, and I designed it when I looked in my fridge and I found a couple of ingredients, and I thought, what can I make with those? And those couple of ingredients were sage and ginger. And I came up with this cocktail. It's got some great flavors. And I actually entered it into a cocktail competition. And I did really well with it, and people really liked it, and it was a super fun time. Had a blast. But, and more importantly, what I really love about this cocktail, and one of the reasons I made it and how it came about was that I actually, it only uses one spirit in it, and that's it. So it really requires a lot less of a person, you know, if they're just starting out. A lot of people think that um, when you're starting with cocktails, you have to have this large, extensive liquor collection to make a lot of stuff. And I think that it's true to a point, you do. Um, but I think what this drink does, it shows you you can really make drinks with a lot of amazing flavors and great flavors, strong flavors, and without spending a ton of money on you know having a large liquor collection. You know, when I first made it, I, I did like one tweak on it, but it was one of those drinks where you make it and just you taste it and it just worked right away. So that's the drink I'm gonna make for you tonight. And we're gonna do it, we're gonna get started. So to start with, I'm going to do a quarter ounce of vanilla syrup. And you can make your own vanilla syrup uh, by doing, you know, vanilla, vanilla bean and, and simple simple syrup. And you can also buy it um, from um, BG Reynolds and out of Portland makes a good vanilla syrup. We're going to do a quarter ounce. We're going to add that to our mixing tin. And I'm adding to the, the large mixing tin. You normally add all my greens to the smaller one, but we're going to be muddling, so that's why I'm doing this. Now, the next thing I put in here is our ginger. And, you know, this is one of those things where it's however you, you know, if you love ginger, maybe you want to do a little more. If you don't love the spiciness of ginger, um, you know, it's kind of up to you. So, make it once and kind of feel it out and see what you think. I generally will do probably about three quarter size pieces of ginger approximately. Um, like I said, it's kind of, it's flexible. And the next ingredient is sage. And I'll probably do, I generally want the leaves, and I'll probably do, I don't know, four or five leaves approximately. Again, it's one of those things where you can kind of do it to taste. And then we're going to muddle this. And you have to muddle it actually pretty hard. A lot of times when you muddle, you don't want to like demolish the herbs. But in this case, to really get everything out of the ginger, you really have to muddle it really hard actually. And you'll know once you finally actually smash the ginger, is it looks really like it actually smashes and it turns into little pieces. So really give it a good, good muddling. It'll look pretty kind of all mashed up in there. And you'll, you'll get the aromas. Which is what we're done. We're done muddling right now. And then we're gonna add our couple of ingredients that are liquid. So we're gonna do a half ounce of lemon juice. It was interesting when I first made this drink, or when I was testing it out and developing it, I actually tried it with lime juice. A lot of times you think, because we're going to use tequila as our base spirit, that um, lime juice goes better with tequila based on the margarita, but I just 
this drink, the lemon, really tastes much better than lime, in my opinion. And then we're going to get to our final ingredient, which is the spirit. And I use a Reposado tequila, and I use two and a quarter ounces. Um, this because I'm using El Himidor. It's a, it's a nice value brand. I think it's good quality. Um, you'll just spend a ton on it. We do two and a quarter. And that's it. It's pretty pretty simple actually. So we're gonna add our ice and then we're gonna shake. Then we add our ice last because we want to control dilution. We don't want the ice to start melting as we're adding ingredients. And then we just give it a good shake. And we're almost done. And then we want to double strain this through a fine mesh strainer because we want to catch all of that ginger and sage that we muddled. We don't want people eating it. I should say drinking it. Great color for a drink. And then finally, so this drink's called the Magnetic North. And I named it because of the garnish, which is a single sage leaf that you float on top of the drink. And when you float it in a coupe glass like this, it'll actually kind of looks like a, a needle on a compass pointing to north. So that's where the name came from. I like this cocktail because you get, you get the tequila. It's the only spirit in here. Um, you get a lot of the ginger. Definitely get the sage. So it's got the earthy tones. I think it, it really can show off what you can do with, um, you know, ingredients outside of spirits and liqueurs, with just you know, herbs and things you find in your grocery store, farmer's market, whatever. And when you kind of think in these terms, I think you can come up with some really great drinks. So... So my question is, if you have um, herbs in a grocery store or whatever, um, how do you like to use them in cocktails? Do you just garnish with them? Do you try to make them an integral part of the drink? Um, what do you like to do? But that's how you make the Magnetic North.